So, I just got off of my 24, and I'm headed to the house. Got some stuff to do there, and uh, as a matter of fact, I've got a special guest today, so I'm taking my toilet. So let's get home, and I'll show you who that is, and we'll get started. So, told you about the surprise guest. Hmm? What are you doing, Colton? Hey, baby. What are you doing? What are you doing, baby? <laughs> Penelope. <coughs> Colton, who is this? Who is that? Hmm? Who is that? Who's that, baby? <laughs> okay, buddy. Colton, what all do we need to get done on the farm today? Hmm? What all do we need to get done in your opinion? Are you so mad at them chickens for not laying like they're supposed to? You can't even speak. I understand. You want me to talk to the chickens for you? Hey Colton, you want me to talk to the chickens for you? Yeah? <laughs> okay, so you want to see the future farmers of America? Check this out. <laughs> He's adorable. Move. Yeah. Move, you Nimrod. <laughs> <laughs> All you're liking now is your farm boots. We have to get you some farm boots next, don't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's perfect. <laughs> All right, so I do got to get a couple things done today. <laughs> I come outside, they all come running. Funny. I uh, I got them out earlier this morning. Um, <laughs> I got them out earlier this morning. They had been kind of stuck in that coop for two days because of the weather. And... Uh, Man, they were ready to come out. They immediately came out and started scratching like crazy and eating, so they definitely needed to get out of that mess. <laughs> of course, the rabbits are playing crazy again. Oh. They scooted. Oh, well. Let's, uh, we got. Huh? four this morning. Of course we got Lossie Mae sitting on our eggs in here. What are you sitting on there, Ramrod? Huh? Alright, I won't mess with you. Sorry. Not polite to walk in on a lady in the bathroom, is it? Yeah. Let's, let's take a peek see. What do you say? What you doing in there, girl? Huh? Here. Mags in there, ain't you? Good lord. Well, kind of took the fire out of that for her, huh? <laughs> oh well. Let's go ahead and take these inside. Give them a reach. Here's sugar. Hey, sugar. Hey, baby. Of course, I re reloaded them all this morning, so they're good on that. Thought I gotta get those uh, garden bits flipped. Seems like the chickens, what they're doing is they're focusing on one of the garden beds instead of the other. So I'm going to have to rotate some of that hay over to the, the first one. Because see, they've, they've left this one. I mean, they've worked it some, but not as much as they've worked this one. I mean, look at this thing. The hay is practically gone. It's all broken down. I mean, they have tore that thing out the frame. So I'm going to have to rotate some from that one over to here. And also that one, they're not working that well. Well, but now the corn patch over there I had the stuff at, that stuff's gone. They worked that in the ground in no time. That stuff is toast. So I'm going to have to, yeah, let me get these eggs to reach and I can get that thing scraped out and 
bring uh, my grandson Colton out and let him see the chickens and play with him. He seems to like that. And the ducks. So let me get this done. Get it over with. I gotta say though, they've done a really good job. And I ain't got too long until it's starting to be time to plant. These things are great. Chickens doing their job. The only problem I'm gonna run into though is I'm gonna end up having to put chicken wire around these beds. Cause I've got them so used to going in there and and digging and scratching it. That's what they're gonna be used to. So, you know, you gotta make adjustments. So, I've still got my burn bed here. Still a good bit of, well, I've used a lot of the ash, but along and along, I keep scooping me some up, taking it over there, putting it in my beds, which I know seems kind of monotonous and crazy, but it pays off in the long run, put that potassium back in the ground over there, so that's definitely a positive. What's you doing there, Flossie Mae? Huh? What's you doing, girl? You'd be in laying eggs. I'll be falling down the job. Which we had, uh, <clears throat> we got somebody now interested in selling her eggs. So, like I said before, um, what we're, <laughs> what? What we're planning on doing is just getting some more chicks in, uh, in the spring. And, uh, I guess we'll get us 10 more, but I'm gonna get 10 more of the same kind of chickens I've got, primarily because they're good egg layers, they're real docile, and it's kind of what uh, we like, and that's what we need them for, so I'll order some more Isa Browns come, uh, come springtime. Because with them buying our eggs from us and selling them, I don't want to leave them hanging and, and not being able to provide them with the eggs. So I'd rather have more than less. If, if, if they started buying from us and we weren't able to provide it, well, we told them we could, that kind of put bad taste in people's mouths. So I'd rather have them and not need them versus need them and not have them. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is expand the, the coop for the chickens. Uh, I'll show you what I got to get done before next month. But uh, let me see here. So what I'm gonna do? All this junk over here. There's a lot of junk. It will kind of just kind of slid over. Well, there's the this side of the chicken wall ends there. But what I'm gonna do is take that wall out. And then expand it on over this way and extend the chicken coop all the way across. And what I'll probably do is just, instead of leaving that one door, is just cut the, this excess right off of there, down there. And then make a wider door here so it just makes it easier to clean out while, you know, go ahead and do that while I'm doing it. And then having to go through all this mess, of course, and, you know, like the old fridge over there. We kind of hoped we could just put it out here and keep it for the eggs, and that's still a possibility. So I'm not real, real sure, you know, what, what we'll do that fridge, but that's probably what we're going to do. And like I said, this counter here is going to be gone, and we're going to extend it out, you know, across there. So as far as the fridge goes, I guess we we'll have to figure that one out. So I don't know. We'll see. So today was pretty much a short day outside. I got a couple things done I wanted to get done. I thought it was kind of boring, so I didn't really video it, but um, <laughs> told you, lost puppies all up under me. <laughs> but uh, we got Colton, so my grandson here, I'd rather just spend time with him. Um, 
So, I'm going to go back in and hang out with Colton a little while. Enjoy them while I got them. <laughs> so, all the farming issues and chicken issues that poor Colton had to deal with today and make decisions about. Wore them out. Poor thing. Tough job. I'm glad he's got it. So Colton, what do you think we ought to do about them ticking slacking? Hmm? What do you think we ought to do? We got some slacking chickens. What are we going to do about them? <laughs> what you doing? So, we hope you've enjoyed, well, you too. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, all of us. So, uh, if you would, please like, subscribe, and share if you can with your family, friends, whomever you think might be interested. We'd certainly appreciate it. And, uh, I guess we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for, uh, Thanks for watching. What are we doing there, chickens? Huh? What are we doing? Yeah. Like a bunch of lost puppies. Yeah. All right. so hard.